Let's speak now to Maria de Avila. She joins us on the phone from the Honduran capital, Tegucigalpa. She's a journalist there. Uh, a huge death toll. Why was the number of people killed so high? At least 350, perhaps even 357. Uh, hello, good morning. Uh, that was uh, said the authorities, the extra official. We know that there are uh, maybe 359, they say right now, people uh, that have dead. This is the, uh, a national tragedy, has said the government. Uh, the prison is uh, located in the middle of Honduras, in Comayagua, and some survivors said that uh, uh, the fire starts uh, because uh, a prisoner was uh, smoking, and then his uh, bed uh, gets some fire, and the, uh, that's why uh, the reason that why it starts the fire in the in the prison. And what is happening now? Is the situation under control? We were just reporting that uh, there was fighting between families of inmates and the police. Has that stopped? Now the situation is under control. The bodies are inside uh, right now. Are inside of the prison, uh, the, the bodies will be uh, collected, if we can say, into uh, some uh, a cold containers to get moved outside the prison to Tegucigalpa, uh, uh, the capital, and make some analysis to identify uh, the, the, the bodies and to identify and can say uh, the names and can, and can say to the relatives that his uh, family is uh, dead or is alive. Maria de Avila joining us from Tegucigalpa. Thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. The residents of the Libyan city of Benghazi are preparing to mark one year since the revolt against Muammar Gaddafi began. The city's residents.